Hello and welcome everyone to another video. This is Pratham from Trips Developers. And uh, in this video, we're gonna learn that uh, how to replace add to cart button with an email us link or a contact us link and uh, remove the quantity and remove the pricing. As you won't be selling this product, you don't need the prices or the quantity. So uh, you can ask customer to have a um, quote instead. They can mail you and you can uh, give them the quote as per their requirements. So this is how we do. Let's start it. All right, so uh, we'll go to our first of all online store in our Shopify admin and we'll go to our themes and in your themes you will find these three dots and click edit html slash css and uh, this will basically open your code editor and as you are here you will not touch product.liquid in here, you will just have a product, uh, you will have a new template instead. So we call that template um, product not for sale. Alright, and create a template. And uh, this will basically just copy the whole product.liquid template and make it new one. So you now will be having uh, two templates you can use for your products. So uh, whichever products are for sale, uh, they will stay in product template and whichever products are not for sale will uh, be changing to product not for sale. Alright, so first of all we will um, find the add to cart place and we will remove that add to cart button and instead we will put a custom text uh, which we would like to have for a quote. Alright, so with first if you're using Mac then Ctrl F, uh, command F and if you're using Windows then Ctrl F um, in the theme, Ctrl F. Alright, you will see the search bar as add to cart. Alright, and as you type in there, you will you will have to find the button. You will have the button type submit and add to cart. This is what you have to look for and you have to comment out the whole thing. Not the whole thing actually, only the button. So uh, leave the div tag as it is and uh, you will have comment it out like this. Right? And just after the button and the comment. Alright, and you will then save that. Now, uh, you also don't need the quantity. So we'll go to the, uh, find for the quantity as well. Because if the product is not for sale, so you won't need the quantity as well. So uh, just right above the uh, add to cart button, you will find this quantity. You can do the same thing with um, commenting out, like we did for the add to cart. Comment and then add the comment. Add the comment actually. All right. So this is what you have to do, and uh, now you need a custom content uh, for your uh, quotation. So you want your customer to have contact you via email and uh, have quote. Uh, for their requirements, for the custom requirements, for example. So what you can do is, uh, we haven't uh, done anything with the div tag. So just after the uh, end comment and before the closing div tag, you will uh, paste in our own uh, custom content, which will basically say that uh, this product is only available upon request, and then you will have the link shop.email and you can actually uh, make this copy the same what I have here uh, you don't need to change anything it will uh, directly have your shop name because we have it in our uh, shop email sorry because we have it in our course so you will do that and save it and make sure it's in the paragraph tag and the link is in the a tag all right now we also don't need the prices so we'll search for the prices, uh, price, 
and we'll look for at where exactly the price are starting. It will basically after the form tag, the the starting form tag, and we'll just find it right there. Uh, form action part add. So here it is, and you will do the same thing like we have done with the couple of things. Comment it out. The thing is, which you don't need it, I just comment it out and uh, just replace it with your with your own custom content. It's really easy. You can uh, do things. Um, not just adding this, replacing the add to cart button, but you can uh, do many more things by like this. You can comment that out, and you can have your own custom uh, content. I'm sorry, I didn't end the comment. Okay, end end the comment. Save it. Now you need to make sure that whatever products are for not for sale, which uh, this will be going into your uh, template, which is called work not for sale. All right. Okay, actually we haven't uh, commented out the uh, compared price as well, so we have to comment out until end if, after the compared price because it will still show the compared price if you just hide the uh, product price. So uh, do the whole thing and comment here. That's why we received an error, and then save it. So these are small things we have to learn. Always we uh, we have to learn these kind of things uh, so that uh, we can have more experience, right? And we have, we have saved it. Now we have to make sure that all the product handles, uh, sorry, template suffix are product not for sale. So you go to the products and um, you choose any of your products. Uh, you can also choose in bulk if you wanna edit all of the products. You can of course do that. So well, uh, now you're in products. You can you can select one of the products. For example, women's top. I'll go to the women's top. And uh, just scroll down a bit, and here you will find theme templates. In template suffix, you will change it to product not for sale, and then save this. Very really simple. Just you have another new option coming up, not for sale. Before you would only have only product, but now you have product not for sale, and we have created a new template. Yeah, you will go to the website and refresh the page and check it out how things are working now. So this all the three things are disappeared, and we have our own custom content written. Contact us for a quote. Uh, okay, now we are we are using Jumpstart theme. The the title of the product is just right uh, so above, but the theme has designed that way. But most of the theme have a product title or name just right here. So you will have the title here, product title, and your custom content, and the description if you want, and the share buttons. You can edit them all in that product dot uh, liquid product not for sale dot liquid. Which you have created, right? And if you would like to have uh, bulk products, if you have long list of products and you wanna don't go to each of the product and change this template suffix, then you can of course uh, go for uh, you will uh, you will select all the products from here and you will click on edit products. And uh, when you go to the edit products, you can edit bulk products uh, like so. Uh, we will see just in a second. Uh, why is it slow? So uh, the thing will look like this basically. Uh, so you can uh, change the template suffix of for all of them just like this. You can you have two options: product not for sale and product save all changes. And you will then have uh, the same thing on all the products. So let's just check. We go to catalog. And you can select any of other products. So all the products have the same thing uh, like we have seen before. All right, so uh, this is uh, the same quick thing. Whichever things you don't need, just comment it out, guys. All right, so that's all you have to do. And uh, this is a quick fix. You can have uh, many of the merchants uh, these days are looking for this kind of uh, customization. And here's this quick solution. Just comment it out, and you have your solution right there. So right guys, uh, we just wrap this video. Uh, we're just gonna wrap this video right here. And thank you for watching, guys. Do subscribe, leave a like, thumbs up, and uh, do comment if you wanna know something more about customizations. All right then.